Alright guys, want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck? I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. I can bully you like that. <laughs> yeah. What's that? I don't know, it's quite heavy, isn't it? That's some dedication there, isn't it? That's dedication right there. <laughs> How many RC cars has he got on him? He's got three. Three on his bag. I'm driving one. Driving one. Yeah, boy. This way balls deep. Oh, scare me. <laughs> okay. Ow, in the face. Hey, it's a lake, guys. Here's the lake, people. It's pretty deep. How deep do you reckon that is? Uh, deep. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> a squidgy round here. And if you look here, that gets like, proper deep, like fast. Yeah. I don't think that's stand up in there. This is how you build a dinghy. Possibly. Maybe. With a 10 year old brain. We haven't got a clue how to do it. No. What the hell is this? It's a dinghy. Yeah, it's it's a pedal Faster! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> Child labour! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in there, boys! Can we just take this out now? Yeah, alright. And then you just pull it out? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a valve in it. Oh, yeah, pull cool, out. it's got a valve. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Hey guys! I can't see it. Oh! Fuck. oh. <laughs> Me! I did it! Give it some power, will it move? Oh, that's good, so that'll get itself out. <laughs> Alright, Alright, well he made it across, but I think it's so overgeared, it's going into ESC cutout. We try some different batteries and give it another go.
cut out. That was a beer bottle. <laughs> we are. Great. Help, please. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. Right, hold on. All right. So we had a 19 tooth pinning on there, and it was cutting out in the water. So now we put a 14 tooth on there, so it'll be a bit slower, but more tall. <laughs> Oh, I've cut out again. You will consume, you will the consume for a me, gente. X Max sounds. Oh, it sounds hot. That's just coding, isn't it? I don't know. I think the spurgies come away. Hello. Yes. So that's why I didn't make it across that time. Yes, we lost everything, didn't we? Uh oh. That oh, it keeps cutting out. Hey, that's the key bit, that's power. <laughs> oh, you just less power, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, all right. Shall I try the long bit again? <laughs> Mitchell, rescue me! Alright, well that's kind of a success now. I think the trick is, it's just not to floor it. When you go flat out, it just cuts out the ESC, I think. But that was only about a quarter foot old, that got through a lot easier. So I'll try it again on that. Oh man, look at all this shit around it. Oh, look at that. Not enough power. Wasn't there? This dude fell in the water, but we missed it on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. Dad's, Dad's got to dry him off now. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> it's ah, it's so hurt. It hurts a lot. Oh. What's up with your top lip? Can't feel it. <laughs> I can't feel my top lip. <laughs> sort of a bit bluish. That's why. <laughs> ah, it's so cold. Yeah, you're really red. With I don't think I'll do it again. I think you're gonna get it. Oh yeah. It is a it needs a hot bath, man. That's nice. That'd be nice warm in there. Oh yeah. Zip it up. It needs a hot bath. <laughs> this savage looks a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Hello. Steve's lucky. Look, that's where it crashed and that's where Steve's standing. <laughs> Ah, pinions fell off again. Oh, look. guys so that was kind of success kind of not i mean we did make it across but it did take quite a few attempts and it did sink a few times and i think the trouble is i was going in a lot too fast so i was just going in flat out and it didn't need anywhere near that sort of power and all it was doing it was just going into esc cut out mode i don't know because if it was because of the lipos or if it was because of the, the speed control or what it was but it was just loading it up way too much later on i geared it down a bit i had a 19 tooth pinion on and later on I geared it down to a 14 tooth, but that pinion broke. So I put on a 16 tooth, and flat out on 16 tooth, it's still cut out. But half throttle, about quarter to half throttle, that made it across no problem. And it, it was running out of time, because we was out there all day, and I wanted to get it to a point where I could just drive it round on the lake and do a whole circle. But I'll leave it up for another day. But I'm going to have to strip the whole thing down, have to get all the bearings out of here, and put all them into lots of oil or something, just to get all the water out of them because when these things go underwater guys the water goes everywhere i mean they say these are waterproof but they're not really that waterproof at all i mean you can take them into water like i did that's fine but as soon as you get it home you've got to take the whole thing apart get everything out of it re-oil it all get all the water out of it and i've got a video if you go back i'll put a link in the description guys you can watch that video of me taking the whole thing apart um on this one i'm going to do a few little snippets in stages i'm not going to film every single little detail because it just takes so long and i've done it already before so i'm not going to do it again so all right guys i'm just going to turn you off for now get this thing stripped down and then i'll, I'll put you back on all right guys here's the x max every time you take it into water guys you've got to do this you've got to at a bare minimum get every single bearing out and and soak it all out get all the water out of it and this is pretty much a bare minimum strip down I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. I mean, if you take it into water and you don't do this, you're going to end up ruining all your diffs, all your gears, all your metal shafts, all your bearings, everything. Here's all the bearings. I've got all these out here. I'm just going to fill up with this brake cleaner stuff and just let it soak there overnight. Really got to make sure that it gets all the moisture out what's inside these bearings, guys. And then if any of these still feel rough in the morning, then I'm going to take this cover off of here. And clean them out a bit more but hopefully that should be that should be enough we just leave them in there to soak also don't forget about your motor guys you've got to take your motor apart get both bearings out even the one in the sealed end that's, that was still wet and the water gets absolutely everywhere guys it got inside the diff housings inside the center diff housing the front and rear diff housings 
Look, all in here, look, that was all full of water. And then underneath where the prop shaft runs, down here that was all full. And surprisingly, the receiver box is dry, not a drop of water in there. So it looks like a little earplug trick what we've done, that seemed to work. All right, so it's been a day now, I've left these bearings overnight. Most of them are really smooth now, but some of them are still rough, so I've popped all these shields off. And the best way to get them off, guys, I'll just show you if one's already on there. A bit difficult with one hand, because you've got to hold it with one hand and do it with the other hand. But, just get like a knife or something, and just get that under the inside there like that, and you can just ping them out. Then, so I've done that on all the bearings. These ones I can't get off without damaging them, and they're quite smooth, so I'm going to leave these ones. So I put all these back to soak in this brake cleaner stuff. And most of them have got really smooth. I mean, there's a couple in there that are still rough, and then ones I'll replace. So I'm going to soak these once more in this brake cleaner, give them another twirl, re-oil them. The good ones we'll put back in the truck, the bad ones we'll replace. All right, so here she is, looking all swish again, guys. When people do give me a bit of stick for the amount of abuse I give this X-Max, and the other RCs for that matter, but the amount of maintenance that I give it, it's probably one of the best conditioned ones out there. I mean, there's nothing really bad on this truck. Everything's like in almost perfect condition, with the exception of the bumpers. They're a bit beat up. But apart from that, every, everything else stays in sort of pretty good shape. All right, so I hope you liked that video, guys. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified. Check out my eBay course if you want to make a bit of extra cash. See you soon.